Breaking news right now in Northeast Charlotte. Two CMPD officers have been shot, and this is happening near Tom Hunter Road. Let's get live right now to Trish Williford, who's on the scene. And Trish, what is the very latest? Eric, there are more than 100 CMPD officers along with canine units and also members of the SWAT team out here right now near Tom Hunter Road and Canterwood Drive. Now, Channel 9 has confirmed that two Charlotte Mecklenburg police officers were shot by a gunman in this area. You can see several inches of snow already accumulated along these grassy areas. Well, according to Rock Hill Police, Reinhardt was slowly pushing the stroller with his baby inside, but officers say when they arrived on the scene to question him. They say they found the crack right up top. Did you shoot him? Have you been charged with anything? Me. Well, CMPD just wrapped up that news conference here inside police headquarters, and within the last 30 minutes, they released their own video of the exchange between Officer David Tropiano and Ty Turner. And officials say that video shows the officer should not be fired. Mr. Cromanty, I'm just going to ask you just point blank. Did you kill Mr. Blanks? Did you kill your wife? No, I did not. He's a pastor surrounded by death. First, Timothy Cromanty's business partner was killed, and he served five years in prison before prosecutors dropped his charges. Then, last July, his wife and another man were shot dead inside his garage, just feet away from him. I did everything I could to uh, save her. Tonight, for the first time, Cromartie talked to Channel 9 about the killings. An individual came in and struck me. My wife must have seen him come in. He came into the garage trying to save me. Only thing I felt was a hard hit in the back of my head. Um, I went to the floor. Um, I heard my wife screaming, honey, get up. Cromartie says it was this man, James Blanks, who attacked him. Cromartie says he fell to the floor, and when he came to, he says Blanks was pointing a gun at his wife, Sharon. He says he and Blanks fought, the gun went off, and his wife was hit. Cromartie says he finally got the gun, and he shot Blanks. It's a twist maneuver and got it away, and I was able to fire, and then um, drop the gun. Now, even though Cromartie was not charged in these deaths, and charges were dropped involving his business partner, Crumity says he's still become the target of Concord police. Asking uh, very disrespectful questions about my wife and uh, was it set up? He insinuated that you devised this plan. Yes. Since the shooting, Crumity has been charged with setting fire to his house and has pleaded guilty to insurance fraud. But he says he's innocent of all the deaths that have happened around him. You've been accused of murdering your business partner. You've been accused of killing Mr. Blanks as well as your wife. Is it bizarre that all these episodes of crime seem to all be surrounding you? Look at the facts. As they say many times before, um, look, the proof is in the pudding. Now we contacted Concord Police for comment about Cromartie's claims. They gave us an account of the charges Cromartie now faces. They did not respond to the pastor's claims of being targeted by their department, nor did they talk about the deaths of his wife or James Blanks. Blair. Embarrassing? Very. Yeah. Kevin Hughes says he's not only embarrassed, but felt as if he was out of his mind when he walked inside this Tiga K Walmart in the middle of the night wearing nothing but these black shoes. These were the shoes that you had on? Yeah. yeah. And that was about it? That was it, I guess. Hughes explained to Eyewitness News why he walked into the store completely naked. What was going on? I, I've had a problem with drugs in the past. Um, I still like to do some ecstasy once in a while. I accidentally got methamphetamine instead, and it really made me crazy. Tiga K police were called to the Walmart on Stonecrest Boulevard just before midnight last night after they say store employees spotted Hughes walking around in the health and beauty section naked. When police arrived, they say they found Hughes in the electronics section of the store. When you were in Walmart, did you realize that you were naked? Um, I did once I got in there. I mean, you know, I got some weird looks, obviously. Police quickly escorted him out. Hughes says the last thing he remembers is going to sleep at his sister's house last night. The next thing he knew, he was waking up naked in his truck at Walmart. 
He hopped out and walked right into the store. Police say you may have been looking for uh, clothes. Yeah, I, I think that was the first thing I asked for. Does it make you think twice now oh, about absolutely. doing drugs? Right, right, absolutely. Yeah, I'm, it's, you can't trust anything anymore. The 36-year-old spent the night in jail. Tonight he apologizes to anyone he offended inside the store. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. It was, an, it was an accident. It wasn't something that I intended.